Now, I want it known from Jump Street, this is not necessarily a politically themed video per se, in terms of putting out political opinions that some of you are going to crap on because I don't go far enough, or some of you are going to crap on because of this or that or the third. Uh, this is just more a kind of generalized statement and something that I kind of resent in terms of the way the outside world sometimes can look at the world of professional wrestling. Now, we all know Kane, yes, Glenn Jacobs, Kane, is running to be candidate, or he just won his primary by like 17 or 20 votes, whatever it was, in what is it, Knox County, Tennessee. So he's in a very Republican-leaning district. Odds are he's the GOP candidate for mayor of Knox County it would be a massive upset for his libertarian ass not to be voted as the next mayor there. It just is going to. And he's running up against a Democrat 70-year-old Linda Haney. Now, of course, we know Kane has recently made some appearances back on WWE television. We're helping to reform Team Hell No with Daniel Bryan. And many of you are going, yes, yes, yes. Maybe some of you are going, no, no, no. But his candidate, Linda Haney, uh, had something very interesting to say, and I'm going to read the whole thing now and put this bitch on blast for saying what she said. And I quote, I was really stunned to see he was still pursuing it. I thought it was in the past. I thought in this crucial time, he'd want to be here and be with the people. Being an entertainer doesn't make you a political figure. It may get you some votes, but I believe people want someone with common sense and who is ready to lead, unquote. Oh my God. Where do we even begin on this stupid, stupid heifer? Number one, you're really stunned to see he was still pursuing it. What, his livelihood? It's been the dude's career for well over two decades. He's been an incredibly successful performer and made a nice fortune and name for himself over the years because of professional wrestling. Why in the bluest of blue fucks, you stupid idiot, would he sit there and now turn his back on it when it helped get him to the position he really is, frankly? Because if Glenn Jacobs just runs as Glenn Jacobs, he's just another libertarian or he's just another guy. He's just a jag running for office. Come on now, when it comes to politics, Democrat, Republican, Independent, doesn't matter. The money makes the candidate more often than not. We all know that. The money talks and all the other BS walks. It's that simple. You thought in this crucial time you'd want to be there and be with the people? Well, excuse the hell out of me. A lot of other candidates in local, city, municipality, countywide races, state races, and perhaps even national races still have jobs to do, and I know, and I understand that Kane's a big enough star, he's made enough money over the years where he doesn't have to work. Yes, I agree, but fundamentally the whole principle of questioning him for applying his trade, working his craft, and earning a living while he happens to be running as a politician, if anything, should be a good thing, regardless of if I agree with his political stances or not. Like, if I was running for a political office, could you imagine that? Oh, my God. But in all seriousness, I'm not going to have the luxury, the ability to afford to stop freaking working because I'm running for office. I'd have to be able to pay the bills still. And if I lost, I'd still have to have a damn job to be able to provide for myself and the dogs and the cats and pay out child support, bitches. In this crucial time, he'd want to be there with the people. We always sit there and say that, oh, this is a crucial time. It's always a crucial time. Shut the hell up with that type of language. This is so stupid. You're attacking somebody for working while they happen to run at a time where people are tired of career politicians. You're seriously getting pissed off at him for doing his job. And yes, I don't care that it's a professional wrestler. It's still ultimately what he gets paid to do. It's how he's made his living. I have no fundamental problem whatsoever with Glenn Jacobs continuing to want to wrestle while he happens to run for mayor, especially knowing that a major reason he's in the position he is in is because of professional wrestling. And unlike certain people involved with the WWE, a specific man that tries to turn their backs whenever, let's say, their wife runs for Senate once, twice, spend $100 million, lose both of them because you're in a dumb dick campaign in the wrong state. 
and you try to turn your back on everything that your company has given you and put you in that position, Cain's not running from it. He's not ashamed of it. He's not embarrassed of it. He's embracing it. And for that, I respect him. And this whole thing of being an entertainer doesn't make you a political figure. You stupid bitch. Look at the White House. The president was about branding, not business. Anybody that thinks he's a great businessman is insane. But anybody that thinks that man is an idiot is also insane. And beyond all else, he knew how to brand himself, market himself, promote himself. And he ultimately was an entertainer. And he became president. Arnold Schwarzenegger was a two-term governor of California, if memory serves me correctly. He was a freaking bodybuilder on steroids turned movie star. Ronald Reagan was a former B-movie actor, win just one for the Gipper. And he was a two-term president. Jesse Ventura, governor of Minnesota, former wrestler. The hell are you talking about? Being an entertainer doesn't make you a political figure. Bullshit. And in a lot of circles, you have Democrats who think that perhaps the best candidate to run against Trump in 2020 is Oprah freaking Winfrey. What the hell is she? It may get you some votes, but I believe people want someone with common sense and who is ready to lead. You're looking at the American people and thinking that as a collective group that they want common sense. That's what you really think. With a history that we have in presidential elections, especially over the past couple of decades, of voting in the least qualified person, the least ready of the major presidential candidates, Trump, Obama, Bush 43, Clinton. We have a history recently of voting in the least prepared, least qualified person. But you're saying we want people with common sense, people that are ready to lead. See, this is why, Linda Haney, with respect, so many people look at the Republican Party and look at Republicans and are like, ew. But then they turn to the flip side of that and they say, you're a bunch of snowflakes, you're crybabies, and you can't get on point and you can't have one consistent message. And you're in a lot of cases, the people are absolutely right when they say that crap. You should be talking about issues that matter to your people, your constituents. You should be talking about things that can appeal to the working class voters in your district. You should be doing things that can appeal to those people actual common sense and dignities. Sitting there and bashing a guy for going and doing his job when it would be the smartest thing for him to do at this point because it helps raise his profile when in a lot of ways the only reason he's in his position is because he is an entertainer because of the profile that it's important up is absolutely the wrong way to do it. Kane can't wrestle as a candidate, my ass. If he wants to wrestle all the way up until election day, he should do so. This is when we get into silly season of politics and such. Should be about the best person with the best ideas and the best vision for going forward. Shouldn't be crapping on somebody because they go to do their damn job. And I don't care whether or not he has to or not. He wants to do it. What's fundamentally wrong with that? He's not out there ripping babies away from their parents at the border. He's not sitting there selling us out to foreign governments or doing any of that crap. He's forming a tag team with Daniel Bryan. There are much more criminal things we can be worried about. Give me a freaking break, Linda Haney. Stuff a sock in it.